In today's tutorial, we are going to see how to create a simple Disney style cartoon video like this with the help of three simple tools. The entire tutorial is going to be divided into three parts. So make sure you stick to me till the end. And for now, let's begin with the tutorial. Step one, create a beautiful story. Now for this, we, we will be using chat.openai.com and there in the message box I have given my first command as create a short story of a cute boy who makes an enormous dragon his friend and roams around the world with him within 100 words and then go to this green send message option that has given me a cute story my second command was divide this into five scenes hence I have got five different scenes out of this story my third comment was create the image prompt for creating text to image in Disney style for each scene and therefore I have got my prompts. So like this you will have to generate the story, the scenes for the voiceover, the prompts for creating the image and now let us head over to the next part. Part 2 is generating the images. For the same we are using clip drop dot co stable diffusion 1.0 i'll be giving the link in the description so you can directly open and you will have to log in with gmail or your email account once you log in this will be the interface here you will have to paste your prompt now i have made the prompt as i have told you already from chat gpt so i have just copied the prompt from here and pasted in stable diffusion 1.0 version and at the end I will just type Disney tile and then we'll have to do a couple of adjustments so go to this adjustment option here first is style in order to get a Disney style I have noticed photographic style gives the best possible result so we'll be selecting photographic style here in the meantime I want to just mention that I have made another story on cartoon Disney style cartoon movie creation the link will be given in the description as well as in the top right hand side corner in info i button so after watching this video you can go and watch that video now next is aspect ratio here we would be taking widescreen aspect ratio rest other things negative prompts and version you don't have to do anything and just go generate it will take a little while to generate your images and wow amazing four pictures we have got so i will be just going to this irrespective pictures and go to download if you are not happy with the pictures you can go to this edit option to further edit your prompt in order to get a satisfactory result for now i will just go to the top right hand side corner download button and download all these four pictures before we move to the next part where we will be generating cute animated videos from these images i want to show you some detailed functionality of clip drop stable division 1.0 for that let me copy another prompt okay i have copied my last scenes prompt and then i will do the same specification wide screen and style as photographic and then go generate i will go to edit now let us see what all is possible you can remove the background from here okay you can replace the sky you can upscale though upscaling is only possible if you upgrade your account you can uncrop now i will go to sky replacer okay now you can choose from here or you can generate so i am choosing this one and generate now it will take a while to remove the background and replace it by the background i have chosen now it's not being that effective because this is not really a sky let me go back and check with some other image i want this image and replace the sky with this one and then generate so nicely it has replaced the sky now here a little bit of brown brat is left if you want to remove it then go to this edit section again and clean up and then you can move the brush brush size and you can clean suppose i want to clean this part you go to this clean option and this will clean this part look there is no no watermark here and then further you can download this picture you can just zoom a little bit you go to move and zoom it and then you can go for 
download option and it will get downloaded in your folder. So if you like this tip, please do comment and let me know how you implemented it. And now let us move forward to the next step. My step number three is creating videos from these images. For this, we will be using runwayml.com gen2 version. I will be giving the link of this website in the description below. For using this website, you can either go to try runway for free option or go to sign up its free option. So I will go to try runway for free option and I will create an account with the help of your Gmail or email account. Once you get into runway ml you just go to this text to image video here you will find the upload file option so you will select this option and upload your files okay you don't have to give any prompt as such you can go to this motion and you can increase or decrease the motion as per the requirement if you increase the motion then movement in the video will be more if you decrease it it will be less so i keep it between six to seven and then you go to this generate button and on a blink your video will be generated here i want to show you few more control or adjustments of the animation of your video in runway ml you go to this motion in this motion control you have two things one is you can change it you can change the uh, pointer here we can go to this beta option this custom camera control now if i come here i have a couple of options one is horizontal horizontal rightwards or leftwards you can check vertical upwards or downwards you can go to zoom in this is one of the best option or zoom out by minus and roll okay so you can choose any of these camera control in order to give that effect in your video so i will give here zoom in option it will become purple the box whichever option you will be clicking so i can give roll and zoom together as well here you can check the speed if you want to increase it you can give it six and then you can go to generate now you can see the result after it is generated this is the result i have given zoom and roll so it is zooming in and it is rolling as well so both the animations are present in this video like this you can create different animated videos and change the angles of animations if you like this you can simply download from here one quick thing i would like to mention here before we move forward many of you have commented and said in my part one tutorial that in Jane 2 runway ml Jane 2 you're unable to animate the images which are downloaded from stable diffusion right now i have done a small troubleshooting uh, in regard to that and i found out that if we create the prompt in chat gpt and copy that prompt from chat gpt the way i have shown you and pasted that prompt here and added disney cartoon style and then do the other further modifications the way i have shown you then those images are getting accepted and ideally that is getting smoothly animated or uh, we are getting a good nice animated video from gen 2 whereas i will show you which few of the like you know this one uh, i have typed okay i have typed this to this in stable diffusion now i will give the same aspect ratio and same style photographic style and if i generate a picture out of it and that picture if i upload in runway ml it will not be accepted it See, this is the error which I think is coming for many of you. Well, this is a bug which is not specify, specific for any software or any image. Yes, you will have to log out after some time. You'll have to log back in and try once again. I think that way it will be uh, working smoothly. Now let us move forward to create the voiceover for our story. So we will be taking the entire story together. You can take scene by scene. And then you go to 11labs.io and create your own account there and then simply paste the story. Select your desired voice. I will take Bila's voice and then you just go to generate. This is a free option. Once the voiceover is ready, you can go to this bottom right hand side corner download button and download the audio file. 
Now we have the next step to create the final video out of it. For that, we will be using a free account of Canva. I will be giving my affiliate link for using Canva Pro features for free for 30 days. You can cancel your subscription anytime between that. So for that, we will be heading over to canva.com and we will be going to create design option and either you can create design by typing YouTube video and you can select 1920 to 1080 pixel from there. Otherwise, you can go to this video option and select your aspect ratio. We need just a clean canvas for creating videos. Now we will straight head over to the fifth option from top in the left hand side bar, which is upload section. From there, we will go to upload files option and upload all those files, the clips which we have just downloaded. So I'll take all my clips and open. The videos will be coming in the video tab and the audio will be appearing in the audio tab. Once uploaded, just bring the video scene by scene, just drag and drop it on the timeline. You can crop the bottom a little if you want to remove the watermark from here and then right click and set the video as background. Likewise, you will just have to go to this plus button in order to bring the second clip. Now the next is how to increase the length. As I told you, these are 4 seconds long clips. So to increase the length, you'll have to select the respective clip, go to this playback option and reduce the speed. As you reduce the speed in the timeline, you see there is a significant change in the seconds. Same way, you can go to each clip, go to playback and just reduce the speed a little bit. Now let us, let us move forward to give some cool transitions in between. So I will go to this in between place and I will go to this bottom words add transition option. And here you get different types of transition, dissolve, circle. So here I will take a dissolve transition. Now let us drag our audio. So again I will go to upload section, audio section and just make sure your playhead is at the beginning okay and then just drag and drop your audio here you will have to adjust you can go to adjust and adjust the audio section which you want to play and then go to this audio effect if you want to give any back background music along with it then this fade in and fade out works really well you can increase the volume from here and then i will be showing you how to get some background music if you go a little bit downwards you get this audio option you can choose any of these audios which are free but i preferably take the audio tracks from a paid software either otherwise i use youtube studio library so once all these are done and you're satisfied then you can go to this share button and go to download option in mp4 format choose all these slides and go done and download. Now we are at the final step of our video making which is customized subtitle. For this we will be using v.io. I'll be giving this website's link in the description below. So you'll have to log in with your Gmail or email account. Once you log in this would be the dashboard. Here you'll have to go to create project option from this or new video option. So I'm going to create project option. Now you'll have to upload file, therefore I'll have to go to upload file, upload the final video which, which I have just downloaded. Once it is uploaded, go to this left hand side fourth option subtitle and select auto subtitle. Here you'll have to select the language in which you have made the video, for me it is English. And then I'll have to go to create subtitle option. So these are all free websites which I'm going to use. So our subtitle is ready here. Now you can translate it in different language if you want to. Next is styling. I will go to this style option here. You can customize with different styles. If you go to this right hand side arrow, you will get different types of style. And then I will go downwards to do further styling. I will go to the bold font and I will select a better font. Here you can change the font size for me. 36 pixel is okay. And then I will go to effect option here I will give a background and here I will make it 100%. Now finally we will go to animation option and here you can animate as per your requirement. If everything looks good go to this top right hand side corner done button 
then export video and once it is done you just go to this download option you choose mp4 format and download it in your laptop and this is the final result once upon a time in a quaint village there lived a cute boy named max max had always dreamt of adventure but he never imagined it would come in the form of an enormous dragon named ember one fateful day max stumbled upon ember injured and lost with kindness and courage, Max nursed Ember back to health. In return, Ember became Max's loyal friend and protector. Together, they soared across the world. If you like this video please 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 do subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and please consider to give me a like one small request please do share my content with your friends and family so that i can thrive in every single day to create new videos like this for you all thank you so very much for staying here with me i'll come back with some fun tutorial next week till then stay safe and stay legendary